Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a polynomial system. We have x plus y plus z equals 1, xy plus xz plus yz equals negative 4, and x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed equals 1. And we're going to be looking for real solutions. All right, I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to square x plus y plus z. And this is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And then we have to two times the quantity xy plus xz plus yz. Now, one motivation behind this is we already know x plus y plus z and the xy plus xz plus yz. So we can go ahead and substitute that. So it's going to be 1 equals x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2 times negative 4 is going to be negative 8. So from here, if you isolate x squared plus y squared plus z squared, you're going to get 9. Awesome. Another motivation behind finding x squared plus y squared plus z squared is to get to the sum of cubes because we now know the sum of the squares and the sum of x, y, z. Great. So next step, you could probably guess this, is multiplying those two expressions. So I'm going to multiply this one, the sum of squares, by sum of x, y, z. And since we know that one of them is 9, this is 9 and this is 1, the product will equal 9. Now let's go ahead and distribute this, and we're going to get 9 terms, but we can go ahead and expand this completely, and then I'll arrange the terms. So I get x cubed plus x squared y plus x squared z, and then y squared x plus y cubed plus y squared z. And then finally, z squared x plus z squared y plus z cubed, and it's equal to 9. Great. Now, one thing to keep in mind is we we want to get to, well, we do have the sum of cubes, so it will make sense if you put these three things together. So it's going to be x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed. And then the rest of the terms, and this is something we used before in previous problems, is putting the x squared y with y squared x so that I can factor it. A common factor would be xy. And then the second factor would be x plus y. And then we can do the same thing for all pairs. Uh, xz, x plus z, and then yz, y plus z. And that is equal to 9 again. All right, now, I don't have anything for uh, the you know pairwise sums like x plus y or x plus z, but I have x plus y plus z. But I can use it, x plus y plus z, is equal to 1. So from here we can replace x plus y with 1 minus z, x plus z with 1 minus y, and y plus z with 1 minus x. And then the sum of cubes, as you know, is equal to 1, because that was given in the original problem, remember? So we have now 1 plus xy minus xyz plus xz minus xyz plus yz, because I'm distributing this, right, minus xyz. I mean, it's yz, x, but it's the same thing. And then this, this is equal to 9. Now, notice that we can just put xy plus xz plus yz together, and we're going to end up with uh, subtracting 3xyz. Cool. Now, we have the xy plus xz plus yz. We know that it's equal to negative 4. So from here, we get xyz. So 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And then if you add it to both sides, you're going to get negative 3 xyz equals 12. And xyz is equal to negative 4. Now, what is the good thing about finding xyz? Along with the x plus y plus z, and xy plus xz plus yz, this is actually very 
helpful piece of information because we can use Vieta's formulas. And um, Vieta's formulas are very important. I, I think I made a separate video on it, right? Vieta's formulas, I'll try to link that here. And so Vieta's formulas basically tells us if you know the uh, sum, the product and the two-way uh, products or the sum of the two-way products, then you can write the equation. So suppose we have uh, an equation, let's use a different variable, something different from x, y, z. Uh, so it's going to look like this. Um, suppose you, we use u as a variable, so it's going to be like u cubed minus x plus y plus z u and then plus x, y plus x, z plus y, z. By the way, that's not a u, that's a u squared. I messed up on that one, u and then minus x, y, z. So this is basically the equation whose roots are x, y, and z by Vieta's formulas. Now we can go ahead and replace x plus y plus z with one, so it becomes u cubed minus u squared, and then uh, this is negative four, so it becomes negative four u, and x, y, z, remember we just found it, it's equal to negative four, so it becomes positive four, and the whole thing equals zero. Now this is nice because uh, it's factorable, and then from here we can find the values of u. So this gives us uh, u squared minus 4, but that, that's factorable by, uh, you know, difference of two squares. So we can write the whole thing as a product of three linear polynomials. And from here we get the three values, u equals negative 2, ne uh, u equals 2, and u equals 1. Since this is the equation um, whose solutions are, you know, uh, u or x, y, z, then we can kind of write x, y, z. And I don't want to just worry about all the permutations, so I'm going to use the set notation. The set of x, y, z, the set of solutions uh, for x, y, z can basically be written as negative 2, comma 1, comma 2. This means that x can be negative 2 or 1 or 2, and y can be one of these, and z can be one of those, as long as they're all different. And this brings us to the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Now my second method, second method, is going to be slightly different. We're still going to get to x, y, z, and the rest is going to be the same. This time I want to use an identity, which can also be proven easily. Uh, as you know, or you should know, if you're dealing with algebra, this is factorable, and it contains x plus y plus z as a factor. One of the factors is that, and the other factor is something very interesting x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus xy minus xz uh, minus yz. Now, from here, uh, we also know that x squared plus y squared plus z squared is 9. Let me just use the result from the first method. I hope you don't mind, but you can also write this as this squared minus 2 times xy plus xz plus yz. So you could also verify one more time that this is going to be 1 plus 8, which is 9. So now I have these two values, and how am I going to use this? Well, I'm just going to plug in everything. So I know that this is equal to 1 minus 3xyz, and then x plus y plus z is 1, x squared plus y squared plus uh, z squared is equal to 9, and from that I'm going to subtract uh, uh, negative 4, which is positive 4 in this case. That is going to be 13, and from here xyz is going to be negative 4 as before. And of course, by solving uh, the system the same way you're going to be arriving at the same solutions that we found before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.